Release test. Take the patient's arm, abductor to 90. I'm gonna impart a posterior force with this arm right here. I'm gonna to go to end range external rotation. And once I get to end range, I'm going to release my hand. Now this is a nasty task to do to your patients, but that reproduces the sensations of instability or apprehension when you release the hand. It's a positive special test. What I will say is that it's a great way to lose trust with your patients. And although it has a decent sensitivity and specificity, I still don't like it very much. To go along with the video today, I have a little gift for you. It's an evidence-based cheat sheet for shoulder instability. It's a four page PDF that goes over everything you need to know about shoulder instability. We go over prevalence, anatomy, joint arthrokinematics, risk factors, and different types of instability, causes of instability, whether or not your patient should undergo surgery or have conservative care like physical therapy, and finally rehab implications for all the different types of instability. So if you're looking to get up to speed about shoulder instability in less than 10 minutes, then this PDF is for you. I'll leave a link in the show notes in the description. Go ahead and click on that and then download it and then get back to what you're learning about right now.